Crisis management is a busy industry in Washington. Lawyers, publicists, and media-savvy staffers have navigated the inevitable political scandal time and time again, and given Hollywood lots of material. It's handled. From alleged sexual assault, corruption charges, prostitution, extramarital affairs, drug use, or racism, the art of saving a career has to keep up with a 24-hour news cycle and social media. Because I was at the White House before the internet, and I had a news cycle where if somebody was getting something that was going to go national, I had about three, four hours usually to fix it. Now I have maybe 60 seconds. In fact, I may have only one second. Lanny Davis knows a thing or two about handling a scandal. Right now, he's representing Michael Cohen, Trump's former personal lawyer. He defended Bill Clinton during some of his pre-Monica Lewinsky White House scandals. He helped Martha Stewart when she was indicted for insider trading, and he's given some crisis management advice to a dictator or two. So what's the first thing you do when you find yourself in the epicenter of a scandal? If you have bad news, get it out yourself and get it out completely. Tell it early, tell it all, tell it yourself. Just think about how a scandal of the epic and tragic proportion, like Chappaquiddick in 1969, would have been handled today. Of whether my standing among the people of my state has been so impaired that I should resign my seat Despite the magnitude of the Chappaquiddick scandal, Ted Kennedy never did resign, and he was able to remain a Massachusetts senator for another 40 years. Fast forward to today, the criteria for a political scandal has evolved from divorce or an extramarital affair to serious acts of racism and sexual assault allegations. The debate over holding public figures accountable to the ethical standards society has today is an ongoing one. While I did not appear in this photo, I am not surprised by its appearance in the EVMS yearbook. In the place and time where I grew up, many actions that we rightfully recognize as abhorrent today were commonplace. Well, I think it's a statement of values and principles as a matter of crisis management. Democrats have a heavy obligation to state the principle. We will not tolerate the slightest vestige of bigotry. That's right. I am sorry is all he should have said instead of I am sorry but, and he went through all of the back and forth thing and made things much worse for himself. The truth is a great power. Don't expect to be believed, but give your heart into your statement and don't try to explain or spin. So how do you combat the lightning speed of a viral scandal? Intercept the misinformation echo chamber of Google. Intercept it with facts. At some point, your fact will be a counterpoint. The one thing don't do, which a lot of people are advised, is to give up. Fight back with the truth. The truth ultimately will, excuse the verb, will trump the lies. <laughs>